in a hotel room in Washington DC and hopefully soon I will be meeting a lady who's going to do some brain waves testing on me to see what happens with my brain when I do a hands-on healing session on someone. We're also testing what will happen with that person who is receiving the hands-on healing session. The other interesting fact is, is that this lady has done quite a lot of research on brain waves and working with a lot of existing Reiki practitioners and teachers. And recently she came across one of her students and she found that it was a different in their brain wave pattern when they were doing a hands-on healing session. So she have now done this study on two of our students and found that there is a certain pattern. So I'm hoping to talk to her about that as well today to see what kind of pattern there is and what is the difference or similarities between people who study the Japanese system of Reiki or a more modernized first gen. So I'm really looking forward to this and quite excited about it. So hopefully soon I will be meeting Judy and she will be checking out what is happening with my brain. Because often in a lot of modern perspective we, we judge things so quickly. Oh, there's the heart chakra, sure. it's not open or it's closed or whatever. But mm -hmm. ultimately it's just the energy. It doesn't really matter. session for a number of different reasons. Um, for me, the primary uh, point of interest was that you have very unusual brain waves, brain waves I have not seen before in a healer or really in anyone else. Um, and they're the brain waves that allow the entire mind to be quiet so that there's no activity in beta, alpha, or theta the fastest, the three fastest moving segments, categories, regions of the mind, frequencies of the mind. Um, and therefore, without any activity, there's no impedance between you uh, in your delta brain waves, the lowest and slowest brain waves, which are associated with psychic activity, um, uh, intuition, but also healing. And so, since there's no activity anywhere but in the delta, then that means that there is a very, um, an exchange, an ongoing exchange between you and the collective unconscious, which I tend to call the field. Yeah. So there's a high degree of field consciousness in you, which was probably entrained by your being a healer and by your spiritual path. So that means that you are uh, very able to sense you know, what needs healing in other people and I understand from you that you don't actively try to do that and if you did then you would be generating beta, alpha and theta. Yeah. So, so there's a purity that's happening with you in your, um, in your healing work that would come out of this brainwave pattern. It's the brainwave pattern of yoga nidra. Uh, meaning psychic sleep, uh, and it's a precursor from the uh, Maxwell Cade Anna Wise work that, that I study and follow. It's a precursor to uh, a unity consciousness, non-dual consciousness. And, and I feel comfortable even in saying that it's not just a precursor, it is the split second consciousness that one resides in before merging with the field. Mm -hmm. It's the only consciousness that you're capable of having an external awareness, any external awareness, and maintaining. Because after you slip <coughs> down lower and slower, then you can only have unity consciousness, which means that you wouldn't have any external awareness. Oh. Yeah. 
walking around in this consciousness, this yoga nidra, psychic sleep consciousness, and healing in it is very, very interesting. And then the other thing that I found really interesting was your eyes were open <laughs> when, and at one point you were even in that yoga nidra state telling a joke. So, so that was <laughs> that was pretty amazing. I like telling jokes. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> But also, for your purposes, for uh, traditional Japanese Reiki, it's also interesting that uh, in the second segment when we were working with the chanting, and you were doing the chanting, mm. um, so I saw that awakened mind pattern, uh, and then an amplification of that awakened mind pattern, some evolved mind flares, but the moment you stopped the chanting, bam, you went back into that yoga nidra field linking pattern. Yeah. So, so that apparently is your default um, state of consciousness, and that's a really great state of consciousness to default to. <laughs> um, yeah, it means um, it means non-duality. Um, it means unity, and it means. Uh, the ability to be a really uh, powerful, I don't want to say powerful because this is not about power, this is really about surrender. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the word powerful. Yeah. 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 And you feel that, don't you, mm. when, you when you're in that state, because you described it to me. Yeah. It's the, it's the formless, it's non-separation, um, it, it's really pure perception. history of brainwaves, as an aside here, um, that is the consciousness that the earliest people were in before they developed the rest of the brain. That was their way of knowing the world. Yeah. That was the only way they had before uh, the brain split into the verbal uh, left hemisphere. And then we got in trouble by overthinking. So, so this is a non-thinking state, kind of, um, but you're still on some level. So it's what's your organizing principle, that full amplitude delta is your organizing principle and that through which you heal and that through which you know. So that was, that was neat. When you moved over her body and put your hands above her hara, that area below the navel, that center of gravity. At that point, your brain waves went into complete synchronicity, synchrony, and stayed that way the entire rest of the session. Um, and, and that was pretty neat and unusual. Mm. When your uh, left brain sent out um, some bands of delta as if you were reaching out for something, maybe to um, to sense or to know where to go next, then hers would follow. <laughs> yeah, and, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so there was a beautiful phase synchrony that was happening with the two of you and the whole rest of the session. Good, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank you yeah, very much. It was much. a fantastic experience. It, it was for me thank too. You. I appreciate it. Oh.